As they laid abandoned in a strange garden, the two kittens were all alone in the world. Thankfully though, the ginger toms had each other to cling to for comfort. And while their fortunes did take a turn for the better, their amazing bond has never changed. What's more, it's Anya Yaktina, who the cats have to thank for giving them better lives. Moscow-based Yaktina works as a producer and event manager at Condé Nast. And like many, she often documents her travels and exploits on Instagram. A quick look at her Instagram feed, moreover, shows that Yaktina is also an animal lover. Indeed, she is often seen cozying up with her pet dogs, cuddling a fluffy gray feline and hanging out with alpacas. And it seems that no matter what creature she encounters, Yuktina is quick to capture it on camera. So it's little wonder then that Yuktina was the first person a friend reached out to when the kittens were discovered. The pal's father had found two tiny fur babies abandoned on his property. And after being unsure just what to do with them, he eventually had them transported to Yuktina. The little ones were carried to the animal fan in a wicker basket. And as Yuktina peered over the top of the hamper, she saw two creatures she also couldn't resist getting on film. A pair of tiny ginger kittens. The babies were so small, moreover, that she estimated the siblings couldn't have been more than 10 days old. Of course, while most kittens have opened their eyes at that age, they are still incredibly dependent. Usually, in fact, kittens need their mother's milk until they're around eight weeks old. So orphan cats that young, like the ones Yuktina had acquired, need feeding every two to four hours. However, despite the commitment it would require, Yuktina was unwilling to give up on the precious felines. And adorably, she took the brave decision to become their adopted mom. In the process, she taught the brothers how to feed themselves and kept them safe, clean, and warm. But their rescue was not completely hiccup-free. Just two weeks after arriving at Yuktina's home, the kittens fell sick. It was discovered then that the two babies had ringworm. The fungal infection is common in cats and can cause irritating skin lesions on the head, ears, and tail. Furthermore, as the infection can be highly contagious, the kittens, who Yuktina named Fatty and Skinny, would need immediate medical attention. We had to wash them every two days and do medicine shots to cure them, Yuktina told Bored Pandit in 2016. Thanks to Yuktina's attentive care, though Fatty and Skinny soon recovered from their ringworm. Now they could concentrate on settling into their new home in full health, and it didn't take them long to find their feet with their new family either. Since welcoming the two orange fur balls into her life, meanwhile, Yuktina has perhaps inevitably documented their progress on Instagram. And the Moscow-based photography enthusiast boasts over 34,000 followers on the social media site so it was always likely that the brothers would capture a lot of hearts. And the kittens made themselves easy to love, not least because of their seemingly strong bond. In fact, from day one it was clear to see that the two brothers were completely inseparable. And whether they were hanging out on the bed, in the sink, or in the washing machine, one thing was for sure, they were doing it together. Indeed, it seemed that there was nothing the brothers didn't enjoy doing together. Together they slept, watched television, and enjoyed time with their chosen human. Yuktina's charming photos of the kittens, moreover, show them never further than a few inches from each other. Sometimes they run one after the other, but the fighting stops quickly and purring begins, Yuktina told Bored Panda. They are always together, they sleep and eat together. She added simply, they are the best friends. However, the pair also have a naughty side, and enjoy nothing more than creating mischief together. As Yuktina added to Bored Panda, when they try to steal something from the table, they also do it together. But despite their wild sides, Fatty and Skinny have won legions of fans thanks to their admirable antics. Any given photograph of the ginger friends, in fact, can attract thousands of likes on Instagram. For instance, one of Yuktina's most popular posts on the social media site shows the kitties cuddled up in bed, holding onto each other and apparently watching a laptop. The cute picture has been liked more than 10,000 times. What a lovely sight to wake up to. 
read one of the 400 comments accompanying the candid snap. How is this even real? So effing cute, said one more. Meanwhile, another user begged, I love it. Keep update this couple -oc. And yuck Tina, not being one to disappoint Fatty and Skinny's many fans, has duly kept them updated with heart-melting updates like one snap posted towards the end of 2016. That sees the kittens pictured laying beside each other, holding soft toys, and looking utterly adorable to boot. The sweet photo was liked by more than 4,000 people. But although Yuck Tina's images of her two lovable felines may seem simple to some, what they capture is priceless. It's clear that Fatty and Skinny share a unique bond, and while they may be cats, their relationship is enough to give anyone absolute friendship goals. This story was really incredible, but you will like the next one more. Snowboarder rescues snow-trapped horse, records it all on his GoPro. Not every animal was meant for the snowy, winter weather. When one snowboarder was riding down a mountain, he came across an animal that looked pretty lost and frozen. Instead of just riding on, he decided to make a bold move. You won't believe what this young man did to help rescue an animal that had no business being at the top of a snow-covered mountain. 21-year-old Rafael Pease was taking some time off from his studies. Environmental studies, geography with a minor in atmospheric and oceanic sciences at the University of Colorado Boulder. Whenever he gets some free time, Rafael can be found heading between the northern and southern hemispheres in search of snow. Rafael is a huge fan of snowboarding and has even stated that he goes in search of snow about 180 days each year. Having conquered the snow for so long, Rafael has tons of experience. That's why when he came across something out of the ordinary he knew how to react. Recently, Rafael went out on a trip to Chile to celebrate his 21st birthday. He was looking forward to boarding down some fresh snow and videotaping the entire trip. He never expected the unexpected that would soon meet him. While snowboarding down a mountain in the Chilean backcountry, Rafael saw something so strange that it made him stop his board. There was a huge animal buried deep underneath the snow. He decided to get closer to see what was going on. With his GoPro on the entire time, Rafael headed over to the giant snow heap that was staring at him. He quickly realized that underneath all of that snow was a horse. Rafael couldn't believe his eyes. Rafael quickly realized that the horse was buried underneath so much snow that it couldn't move. Thinking on his feet, Rafael realized that he had to do something. That was when his GoPro captured the most heroic footage. The horse was going to die unless someone did something, Rafael said. That was when Rafael started to dig the horse out of the snow. He understood that this was a life or death situation. The rescue occurred on July 13, Pease told Grin TV during an interview. It was my 21st birthday and I was at El Colorado Mountain in Chile. It had just dumped snow the night before, so I hiked up into the backcountry to get some powder turns in. Almost as soon as I started, I saw the horse buried in the snow and knew I had to act, so that is exactly what Rafael did. He started out by digging the snow away from the horse's legs. Raphael soon realized this would be a lot of hard work. I knew it would take all day to get the horse out of the snow, and that I was looking at the best conditions of the summer, said Raphael. But I couldn't, in good conscience, let that horse die up there. Raphael decided that he would give up snowboarding for the day, in order to help save the poor trapped horse. I ended up giving up the best powder day of the year to spend all day digging it out of the snow. But it was worth it. So how long did it take? It took many hours of digging, but Raphael eventually got the horse out of the snow. Still, there was another task at hand for him. He had to somehow figure out a way to get the horse down the mountain. In order to get the horse down the mountain, Raphael came up with a genius idea. He used food to convince the horse to walk down. Every few feet, he would check behind him to see if she was still following. Finally, the duo made it down the mountain. Rafael went about searching for an open field and he soon found it. There he let the horse go out into the wild where she would be safe however. It didn't happen so easily according to Rafael. When I got down to the ski resort, resort workers were trying to take the horse from me and bring it somewhere to let it die, Rafael said. 
which is crazy cause I was doing them a favor instead of them having a dead horse on their resort. Weeks went by before Rafael ever heard about the horse again. Then he got some random news from a local farmer. He wasn't expecting to hear what he was told. While in Chile, Rafael was working on setting up the Flux Viejo Mountain Film Festival. Since he was in the community for a few weeks, the locals quickly spoke about his daring rescue of the horse. A local farmer heard about it and then approached Rafael. The farmer told me he was the previous owner of the horse, Rafael said. He told me it was an old workhorse he had recently released so that it could enjoy its last years. He thanked me for rescuing it. The farmer was eternally grateful to Rafael for going out of his way to make sure that the horse made it down the mountain alive. After all, not everyone would have done the same. Rafael, however, feels like he just did the right thing. Amazing people like Rafael are the kind that help to restore your faith in humanity. Thanks to his daring deed, this horse is now able to live out its life on a beautiful pasture, 